Hello everybody! So, a new field of wars opening up in Squad 44, and it is the Pacific. And if you're curious now, what map are we gonna play first on? Well, the first thing they have mentioned, or at least shown, is Iwo Jima. In Squad 44, this new map will bring harsh volcanic landscapes to us in the form of black sand beaches, treacherous terrain, and the very imposing silhouette of Mount Zuribachi in the background. And yes, I probably butchered that pronunciation and that name, sorry about that one. Also, Mount Zurbachi has a deep and extensive tunnel network. The tunnel network is throughout the mountain and should provide some very enjoyable underground combat. Why not all of Iwo Jima will be covered? The map size is a one-to-one -one ratio compared to real life. And that being said, the map covers the south of the island up to Motoyama Airfield number one and a bit beyond that. The mountain of Zuribachi is roughly 170 meters above the sea level. And since this is a different theater of war than Europe, they are using almost exclusively new 3D assets for the map, since European stuff would not make much sense in the area. The island will also have some island defense guns, which will be pre-placed and some of which are still usable after bombardment of the US Navy. Also, if you're curious about the groups that are playing in this, fighting on the island will be the 5th Marine Division USMC and the 109th Division of the Imperial Japanese Army. The map will have 16-inch naval commander call-ins for the USMC. It will also have a 320mm mortar commander call-ins for the IJA. Speaking of the Japanese force, I'm not gonna have air support on this map. The level has over 2,200 craters. And also the map has more dugout trenches than any other Squad 44 map prior. The fleet background, which is not playable area, contains several battleships and aircraft carriers. Among them the USS Iowa, Missouri, North Carolina, Enterprise, Lexington and Wasp. 